dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feel Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video to share with you tons of cleaning motivation and finish it off with some Christmas decorating. I know it's still early but I was feeling in the spirit and I hope you guys enjoy this one. The first thing I needed to do was dishes. This was my first time loading up my new dishwasher. My apartment complex finally replaced it after not having one for over a week and I could not be more excited to have one again. I will definitely never take for granted having a dishwasher ever again. Forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I could stop the time don't you know that i would cause i'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever i mentioned in a previous video that i am really trying to get back into my health and fitness i have been totally off the bandwagon for pretty much this entire year and i feel like you're either one of two people in quarantine either you are the one that is getting more fit than ever or you're like me and you're gaining the quarantine 15 or 20. so i purchased some glass containers off of amazon and i want to use those to meal prep so i'm thinking maybe i'll start making some sweet potatoes and chicken and broccoli or something on the weekends so i have some healthy meals ready to go in my refrigerator so i just opened all of those up and got them thrown in the dishwasher as well before we continue with cleaning today i just wanted to quickly mention our sponsor which is the drop app i recently started using the drop app when i heard about it through a youtube friend of mine if you've never heard of it before it's a rewards app it's completely free it's available on ios and android devices and with drop members earn points for shopping through their favorite brands in the app and then automatically get rewarded for every purchase you make using the drop app you will get rewards points and you can use those to redeem at places like amazon Amazon or Starbucks or Sephora and so many more. Getting started with the Drop app is actually incredibly easy. You just download it from the App Store, create an account. You can link your credit or debit card to the app and that will help you to maximize your earnings. And then you just shop at your favorite brands like you normally would. Right now is the best time to start using the Drop app because we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals among us. And you can get boosted offer rates up to five times their normal point value from places like Sam's Club or Glossier or Nike and so many others. I have holiday shopping that I still need to get done, so I'm definitely going to be placing some orders using the Drop app this week, but I'm also really excited because I have been holding out on buying a pair of running shoes for a while. I think I'm finally going to pull the trigger this week through Nike and make that purchase and just feel confident knowing I'm getting the best deal possible because I am actually making some money back for a purchase I was going to make anyway. To kickstart your earnings with Drop, you're just going to use the link and the code in my description box below to download the app, and that will actually get you a 10 dollar bonus which is 10,000 points and you'll get those after you earn your first 1,000 points by completing offers through the app. I know you guys will just love this app. It feels really good to get a little something back for a purchase that you're probably planning to make anyway especially around the holiday season so definitely make sure that you check it out and I just want to say thank you so much to Drop for sponsoring this video.
After over a week of having to hand wash everything, I felt like my sink was just kind of disgusting. So I wanted to scrub it out really well. And this is just like the most satisfying thing for me as far as cleaning goes. So you guys see me do this like all the time. You must think my sink is never dirty, but it definitely still gets dirty. I just thoroughly enjoy this chore. My trash was completely overflowing as you can see so I needed to go ahead and get that taken out and then I also had some recycling that needed to be sorted. I had some of you ask me about my recycling in a recent video because you saw me putting it into a trash bag and the reason why I'm doing that is because ever since the pandemic happened our trash valet will not take any loose items so every single thing has to be in a trash bag whether it is regular trash or recycling and I'm hoping that they're still doing what they're supposed to be doing with it but I don't know what happens to it after it leaves right outside of my door but I'm assuming they know it's recycling because that bag is often a lot lighter than the trash bag. We actually have trash valet so I technically don't need to take out my own trash because they come and they take it but sometimes I get so overwhelmed just having like big cardboard boxes this came from something I'm building for a pantry organization video that may or may not be up if it is I'll link it right here but I cannot stand having these boxes in here and then full bags of trash so what I do is I take them and I put them out on my patio so I throw everything out there and then I'm on the first floor so I leave it like right up against the gate there and I just grab it and take it to my car instead of having to carry all of these separately out into the hallway through the staircase out the door so that's my apartment hack for getting a ton of stuff out. I have been working on this for a while just trying to go through all of Carson's toys he has so many and it's getting kind of out of control but I can't really do this when he's around I do like to try and involve him and let him learn a little bit about giving up toys and donating and just when he has too much of an abundance I'm trying to teach him that lesson but it's really hard he's only three and a half so when he's not around it is the ideal time for me to just kind of go through things and find stuff that he's not really using that i never see him playing with and just try to get it put away before he can tell me no i also don't really want to take so much that he notices that something is missing so i try to do this just a little bit at a time so that he doesn't pick up on what is happening I try my best to do some sort of a toy rotation in my apartment, but it's really hard and I have limited space, so I'm definitely looking forward to the day where I have a house with a lot more storage or a basement or a garage. It will just be so nice.
I have been using my e-cloths on basically every single surface in my apartment for a while now. I just think they're like the best cleaning products. So I'm just using that right here to wipe down this media console and then I'll also use it to wipe down the TV and I've not had any issues doing that and I've been doing it for a while. If you guys have kids that are around Carson's age, I would highly recommend the Love Every Play kits. I always have a link to their website in my description box below if you're interested in checking them out. They're a little bit pricey, but they're honestly so worth it. Carson uses these toys every single day and this block set is awesome. It's such high quality and it's actually kind of pretty to leave it out and displayed, but Carson uses it all the time and he has so much fun. I am finally getting a cordless vacuum and I could not be more excited. I feel like I don't know what to expect because I've always had a vacuum that is plugged into the wall and I've heard that the cordless vacuums can just not have as powerful of suction as this vacuum that I'm using right here. So I'll probably still use this vacuum when I'm trying to do a deep clean, but I am so looking forward to having a cordless vacuum that I can use just for everyday messes and it's gonna be so convenient. Speaking of vacuums, you guys ask me all the time about this one. This is the Shark hand vacuum. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. I think it's just under cleaning favorites or something like that. But I really like this hand vacuum. It's just really convenient and it does a nice job. It has attachments that I can use for upholstery. So as you can see right here, I'm using it to clean off my couch. It's obviously not as strong as my big vacuum, but it does a really good job for just a quick and convenient hand vacuum. Now we're moving on to cleaning the bathroom, obviously, so I'm just going to clean my toilet and then wipe down the countertops, also clean the mirror. And then I'm going to show you how I clean my glass shower doors. I've shown this a couple of times, but I always like to film it because it's just kind of amazing to me how a microfiber cloth with just hot water is able to clean my shower doors as well as it does. So I'm obviously going to be using e-cloths. Those are my favorite cleaning product. I always have those linked in my description box below if you are interested in purchasing some for yourself. very hard to tell on camera. I mean, you can kind of see the specks all right here, but my shower doors are very dirty. So I'm going to clean those and I'm going to use the e-cloth bathroom cleaning cloths to do it. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know those are my favorite. So I'm just giving you a little before. And what these things can do is like magic uh, for just using water and a microfiber cloth. So the set comes with just this regular old e-cloth bathroom cleaning cloth and then this is what you use to polish it off after. So 
You will see how this works in just a minute, but this duo does such a good job on my shower doors. And here is how they look now. There is not a single streak left in sight and they are perfectly clear and clean. I love these e-cloths for cleaning the shower. After I threw in a load of just my cleaning towels, I wanted to get to cleaning up my entryway. It was just a little bit dusty and some stuff everywhere. And then I wanted to finally get to my Christmas decorating. Honestly, the reason why I haven't decorated yet is one, because it's a little bit early and two, because I did not feel like dragging out the bins, but I was feeling ambitious this day and I finally grabbed them out of storage so that I could get to decorating. But before I could do that, I just had to walk around and take down anything that was up for fall. I don't have a ton of decor. This is my only box of fall decorations. So I just kept all the bubble wrap that it was originally in when I brought it out for the season and just wrapped everything back up and got it stored away. I've got troubles, I've got sins. I'm my worst enemy. But I've still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away. So aside from tree decor, this is like all that I have for Christmas decor. So I hardly even remember what is in here, even though I think I organized all of this and packed it away nice back in like February, right before I moved into this apartment. I don't really know how much I have. I mean, obviously I don't have a lot and some of it I may not use, some of it I might not know how to use in this apartment, but I'm excited to go through it and see what I have. So I did pick up some new stuff this year and it was all from Target and I don't know how I'm going to use all of it yet. You may have already seen it if it was in my pantry makeover video, which should be before this one. So you should have already seen this stuff, but in case you didn't watch that, um, I got this little sign and then I picked up two of these. I thought I only bought one, but I got two, I guess. And I'm excited to have this. It's just like wooden garland. And then I also got all of these adorable little trees from the Target um, dollar section. I think they were $3 each, but they're so cute and they have a ton of them. And I just think they're really pretty. And then I got this little reindeer set and I also got these little birds. And there's a few more things coming and I think they're coming today. So I'm really hoping that they do because I am in the decorating spirit. And then one other thing I grabbed this year was this wooden um, Christmas tree truck that is from the Hearth and Hand collection. It comes with this little Christmas tree that's supposed to be in the back, uh, but Carson filled it up with his little people that he got from his Love Every play kit. It was really cute. As soon as I gave him this, he was like, I'm gonna put the people in it. So I thought that was sweet, but um, yeah, this truck is like super adorable. So if you guys haven't snagged one, I definitely would. I'm sorry, didn't I do the best I could? You have had 
I am a pretty minimal decorator when it comes to all the different seasons. I just don't like to go overboard. And I'm honestly in a phase in my life where I'm trying to purchase things that look good year round and I'm just not into spending a ton of money to keep a piece of decor up for a month. I also really don't know what my style is. I feel like it changes all the time and I'm kind of using this apartment and this transitional period in my life to figure out what exactly it is that I like. But the first thing that I did was put these pillowcases on. I originally went with a red and green one and then I changed my mind at the last second and went for the more minimal fa -la, la pillowcase and the green one and I think these look pretty nice. These were from Woven Nook. I think they were from a couple of Christmases ago so I don't know if they're still on their website but I really like them for pillowcases. And then I started working on, I guess, my centerpiece for my table and I did not like the way that this turned out. I just felt like it made absolutely no sense and just didn't look good. So we will revisit this in a couple of minutes. I don't mind complicated, but the line is crossed, I'm waiting for a sincere apology. But you can't when you're with me, you need to find a way. But you can't when you're with me, you can with everyone else, just not me. At this point, you will see I was getting kind of visibly frustrated because I felt like none of my decorations from my old house were working with my apartment and I just could not figure out a way to make them look nice. So I did what any other sane person would do and I went to Target and came back refreshed and used some new decorations that I picked up. I honestly just want my toddler to find the holidays magical and fun and when he walked into our apartment at the end of the day and he saw everything he was so excited and that's what it is all about for me so i may not be an expert at this but it made my three-year-old really happy so i'm also happy with it didn't i wait for you yeah didn't i say i'm sorry didn't i do the best i could i could you will see that I arrange and I rearrange over and over and over again until I feel like I came up with something that I like. And I was definitely struggling with every single um, area in my apartment trying to decorate. I did the best that I could, but again, I cannot wait until I have a house and I can really try to coordinate every single room and just make it look so seamless and like it's all meant to be there and be together. And I just don't feel like I've achieved that in my apartment. Now we're back working on my centerpiece you guys will have to let me know if you liked it the first way better or the second way i'm still not totally in love with it but i did like it a lot more i think than the way i had it the first time if you missed last week's video i did a pantry organization and i decorated for christmas on my pantry cabinet and i think that turned out adorable it's probably my favorite area as far as decorations go this year in my apartment We have reached the end of this week's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one and it gave you some ideas for what's out there for Christmas decor this year because most of this is from this year from Target and I hope that it just helped to motivate you to get some cleaning done. Don't forget to check out the Drop app and thank you so much Drop for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it once again and I will see you next week for another video.